stuck resetting Windows 11 with the could not find the recovery environment error? Don't worry, a common first fix is simply re-enabling it. Let's check and activate it step by step. First, verify the recovery status. Open the Start menu, type CMD, right-click Command Prompt, and select Run as Administrator. In the command window, type carefully, reagent slash info, and press Enter. Look for Windows Recovery Environment Status. If it says Disabled, we found the likely culprit. Now, confirm the recovery partition exists. Right-click the Start button and select Disk Management. Scan your disk partitions. Look for a small one, around 500 MB to 1 GB, labeled Recovery or with the Recovery Partition type. If you see it, great, move to the next step. Next, locate the critical WinRE file. Open File Explorer to C colon Windows colon System32 colon Recovery. We need to see hidden and system files. Click View at the top, then Show, and select Hidden Items. Now click the three dots or options, go to the View tab, scroll down, uncheck Hide Protected Operating System Files, Recommended, click Yes on the warning, and click OK. Look inside the Recovery folder for a file named winray.wim. If it's there, we're ready to enable. Finally, activate Windows Recovery. Go back to your Open Administrator command prompt. Type Reagent C slash Enable and press Enter. Wait for the result. If you see Operation Successful, the recovery environment is now active. Try resetting Windows 11 again. That error should be gone. If not, the partition might be missing or damaged, requiring deeper fixes. Now, if your recovery partition exists, but the winre.wim file is missing, we'll manually restore the recovery environment using your Windows ISO. You'll need the free 7-zip installed. First, get the Windows 11 ISO. Visit Microsoft's official download page, select the correct edition, and download the disk image. Mount the ISO. Right-click the downloaded.iso file in File Explorer and select Mount. This creates a virtual drive. Note its letter like D or E. Navigate to Sources. Open the mounted drive, then enter the Sources folder. Access install.wim. Right-click either install.wim or install.esd, hover over 7-zip, and choose Open Archive. Extract winre.wim. Inside the archive, navigate to 1. Windows, System32, Recovery. Right-click winre.wim, select Copy To, and paste this path exactly. C colon slash Windows slash System32 slash Recovery slash. Confirm the file appears in Explorer. Re-register Recovery. Open a new Administrator command prompt. Type reagency slash set reimage slash path C colon slash Windows slash System32 slash Recovery and press Enter. Wait for confirmation. Then type reagency slash enable and press enter. You should see operation successful twice. We are now addressing the scenario where the recovery partition is completely missing and creating a new recovery partition using disk part. Warning, select disk's partitions carefully. Mistakes can cause data loss. Open start menu, type CMD, Right-click Command Prompt and Run as Administrator. Type Disk Part, then press Enter. At the Disk Part prompt, type List Disk and press Enter. Identify your Windows disk. Look for the disk matching your drive size, usually Disk 0. Type Select Disk N, replacing N with your disk number, then Enter. Now type List Partition and press Enter. Choose a partition to shrink. Pick one with free space, avoid system reserved or recovery partitions. Type Select Partition M, replacing M with your partition number, then Enter. Shrink it. Type Shrink Desired equals 650 and press Enter. 
wait for disk part succeeded confirmation. Create recovery partition. Type these commands one by one. Create partition primary. Format fs equals ntf, quick. Set id equals de-9-4-ba-4-d1-06-d1-4-d-4-0-a-1-6-a-bfd-5-0-1-7-9-d-6-ac. Finally, exit. Enable WinRE. Type reagency slash enable and press enter. If successful, great. If not, remember, you might still need the winre.wim file from our previous solution. Reboot and try resetting Windows again.